Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 4.13 and 4.14 from the laws of motion. A man of mass 70 kg stands on a weighing scale in a lift which is moving upwards with a uniform speed of 10 meter per second downwards with a uniform acceleration of 5 meter per second square upwards with a uniform acceleration of 5 meter per second square what would be the readings on the scale in each case what would be the reading if the lift mechanism failed and it hurtled down freely under gravity. Coming to one by one. So we need to find out the reading on the scale in each case. Suppose say this is a weighing machine. A man of mass 70 kilogram is standing on that and this complete arrangement is in a lift. Now we will discuss one by one. So whenever Upwards with uniform speed of 10 meters per second. Here, upward force is nothing but reaction, normal reaction, which is nothing but the apparent weight of the man. Downwards is nothing but weight of the man. So, Moving upwards with V is equal to 10 meter per second. So acceleration is 0. In this case, the reading on the scale are apparent weight that is nothing but R is equal to mg only. That is 70 into, suppose if you are taking G is 9.8, its value is 686 Newton. And uh, actually the scale, weighing scale shows in terms of kilogram weight. That is equal to, by dividing this value with 9.8, again we will get the same, 70 kilogram weight. That means the weight won't change. The apparent weight is equal to real weight of the person. And downwards with a uniform acceleration 5 meter per second square. Now the situation is if you are drawing the free body diagram the weight mg and apparent weight or normal reaction like this. I am showing the arrow of mg is more than r and accelerating downwards with 5 meter per second square. So in this case mg is more than r. That's why I am writing net force f net is equal to mg minus r. F net is equal to Ma as per Newton's second law, Mg minus R. Therefore, R is equal to M into G minus A. That is equal to 70 into 9.8 minus 5 is equal to 70 into 4.8 that is 336 Newton. The same thing we can write 
34.29 kilogram weight that means the apparent weight or the reading shown by the weighing machine is smaller with compared to the original weight of the man coming to see the upward with the uniform acceleration 5 meter per second square the free body diagram in this case normal reaction is higher than the weight in this free body diagram we are showing and acceleration a is equal to 5 meter per second square up force in this case f net is equal to we can write r minus mg that is ma is equal to r minus mg r is equal to m into g plus a that is 70 into 9.8 plus 5 that is equal to 70 into 14.8 that is also 1036 newton in terms of kilogram weight 105.7 kilogram weight that means by dividing 1036 with 9.8 we will get 105.7 kilogram weight now while coming to D, what would be the reading if the lift mechanism fail and is uttled down freely under gravity? That means in this case, the lift and the man will be acting as like freely falling body. In this case, apparent weight that is R is equal to M into G minus A. Here G sorry A is equal to G that means R is equal to M into G minus G. Why I have taken A is equal to G means that is freely falling body type. So the acceleration of freely falling body is G. That is nothing but equivalent to zero. That means the body or the man feels weightlessness. The condition is said to be weightlessness. The weighing machine will show zero ready. Coming to four point one four. Figure four point one six shows the position time graph of a particle of mass 4 kg what is the force on the particle for t is equal to sorry t is less than 0 and t is more than 4 seconds 0 less than t less than 4 seconds and impulse at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 4 seconds Here, while coming to first part, force on the particle for t is less than 0 seconds. If we are taking t is less than 0 second, t is less than 0 second, the position of the particle is here. It is t is less than 0. In this case, the position is 0 it is shown that means the particle is at rest the particle is at rest that means acceleration is 0 and f also 0 if t is more than 4 seconds when t is more than 4 seconds, here this is the situation. Here t is more than 
4 seconds. In this case, also the position time graph is parallel to time axis. Again, the particle is at rest. If the particle is at rest, we have velocity is 0 and acceleration is 0. It is in one dimension given and uh, force also nothing but 0. And one more condition. If 0 is less than t is less than 4 seconds. In this case, 0 is less than, t is less than 4 seconds means there is nothing but OA region. There is nothing but region OA. In this region, the particle is in the motion, but with constant velocity. Here, V is constant. Because the slope of position time graph is constant. If V is constant, A is 0, then automatically force acting on the particle also 0. Now coming to B. Impulse. Impulse at T is equal to 0 second and T is equal to 4 second. Coming to B. Before t is equal to 0, the particle is at rest, so u is 0. And after t is equal to 0, the particle has the velocity, that velocity v is equal to the slope of xt graph. That is nothing but We will get here the velocity at a time t in this range between 0 to a is 3 minus 0. There is change in position by time taken 4 minus 0. There is number 3 by 4 meter per second. So therefore, at T is equal to 0, impulse is equal to change in momentum. That is m into v minus u or mv minus mu. Mass is 4 and 3 by 4 minus 0 there is change in velocity that is equal 3 kilogram meter per second now coming to at t is equal to 4 seconds similarly we will take before t is equal to 4 seconds, the particle has constant velocity that is u is equal to nothing but slope of OA that is 3 by 4 meter per second. But uh, after t is equal to 4 seconds, the particle is at rest that means velocity is equal to 0 therefore at a 4 at a t is equal to 4 seconds impulse is equal to again change in momentum m into v minus u that is 4 into 0 minus 3 by 4 that is equal to minus 3 kilogram meter per 
second. So this is impulse at t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 4 second. While coming to the force, when time is less than 0 or t is more than 4 seconds or lies between 0 and 4 seconds, the force is 0. Thank you.